President Trump appears to be objecting to the recounts underway in Florida. The president says the results from Tuesday night should be honored. In the race for governor, Democrat Andrew Gillum trails Republican Ron DeSantis by four-tenths of a percent. Now, that is just over 33,000 votes. The race for senator is even tighter. Florida's outgoing governor, Republican Rick Scott, holds a 12,500 vote lead over incumbent Democratic Senator Bill Nelson. That puts the margin of this race at just over 15 hundredths of a percent. Now, those two races, plus the race for state agriculture commissioner, are currently in a machine recount, meaning the ballots are being run through voting machines again. After the machine recount, if the margin in a race is less than a quarter of a percent, a manual hand recount will be ordered. Manuel Bojorquez has more from inside the Broward County Election Center in Lauder Hill, Florida. One day after Democrat Andrew Gillum officially withdrew his concession against Republican Ron DeSantis, partisan protesters continued their raucous demonstrations in Broward County. When you cheat the system of electing our officials, it is no longer we the people. Some Republicans, including the president, have suggested Democrats are trying to steal the election. Democrats say they're following state guidelines for elections that are this close. We're here to make sure that all the votes count. There is no there is, no, there is no fraud. Republican Senate candidate Rick Scott holds a razor-thin lead in the Senate race against incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson. Scott filed a suit against Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes, who the lawsuit claims failed to provide the total vote count on schedule. In Broward County, 205 valid ballots were mixed with 22 rejected ones. It's deja vu all over again. Remember Bush versus Gore in the 2000 presidential election? That Florida recount took more than five weeks and untold lawsuits before George W. Bush was declared the winner by 537 votes. Sunday night, Andrew Gillum took to the pulpit, preaching to his choir. I demand that every vote be counted in this process. Anna Carbonell is with the Rick Scott Senate campaign. Everybody keeps saying, here we go again, Florida, Florida, Florida. Yeah. What do you say to that? Look, the truth of the matter is that uh, 65 counties were able to follow the law and, and make sure that the process went as smoothly as possible. Sadly, uh, two counties did not follow the law. The state's law enforcement agency has said so far there is no evidence of voter fraud. The Senate race could go to a second hand recount where questionable ballots would be reviewed one by one to try to determine the voters intent and that could lead to even more court challenges. Tanya. Manny Bojorquez in Florida. Thank you for that.